Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and in today's video, I did more shopping. So today is all about an unboxing from two different places. We are looking first at Modern Wear Market. It's a place I only recently discovered, but I have been loving everything that is on their website. I actually have a previous purchase I'll go over as well and then also show you my shopping cart, which is full of pretty much the entire website. So hopefully at some point we can start chipping away at that. If you have not been to their website, I'll leave a link for it below. I'll also leave it right here on the screen for you as well. They have curated a bunch of really gorgeous items for your home. Definitely give them a look. I also have one item from Crate and Barrel that we're going to be looking at today. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead, keep on watching. Make sure to give this video a like, leave me a comment below, subscribe. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. So I'm actually gonna take this over to my kitchen table right now. I'm gonna put the box up there. There is just not a lot of room in this little corner to get everything out and shown to you. So let's head over. All right, so hopefully everything survived. Um, it says fragile all over the box. And as you can see, it, uh, it's it been through a little bit of something. So we're gonna open it up. I'll start taking out those items and showing you what's inside. Thank you note, always like to see that. All right, so this was everything that was out of that large box, plus the one from Crate and Barrel. We're gonna go ahead and start opening them up, see what's inside. I was hoping to do all of the unboxing over there where you could see everything, but my apartment is a dark, dark place where nothing can survive. I literally have killed a succulent and my basil plant lasted four days in here. So essentially there is no light, it's already a gloomy day and it's just impossible to see anything. So kind of like our last one, that fall haul video, which if you have not seen, I'll leave a link to right up here. We're just gonna have everything brought out right here for you to see. The first up we have the marble mortar and pestle set. So this is actually very heavy. It's very smooth, very well made. This is going to go up in the kitchen. I'll show you the complete look. It's also going to sit next to the salt and pepper mill that I did get from here as well. I'll link those below and show you what those look like, but everything is so gorgeous. So just kind of unique looking. Very excited to have it all put together. So this set is 42. They do a lot of marble and actually I have Everything I have right now is either marble or wood from them. Um, I think that the marble just gives a lot of character. It's a little bit different in every piece that you'll get just due to the characteristics of marble. So this has a little bit more of that spotting detail, almost like little freckles on the side here. And then anything that's wood is going to help give a little bit of warmth to everything. So I really love how there's the cool aspect to the marble and then the very warm tones of the wood. I think that put together, it just brings a lot of beauty and character. Next up, we have this really beautiful bowl. So it is ribbed, it is mango wood. I believe this was $25. I have everything over here, let me double check. Yep, 25 for this. So it's a pretty decent size. Uh, this is just, again, got a little bit of texture, adding that warmth. And I'm not sure if this is really doing it justice to the ribbing here, but it's just a really gorgeous piece, very lightweight. So this can be put on display pretty much anywhere. I don't know if I would use it to actually hold anything like fruit. I feel like it might, it's a little bit rough for that, but as a display piece, it is very, very pretty. This kind of footed bowl is very, very in right now. I thought this was a great price. Again, it's a little bit different than what I have been seeing elsewhere. And I would just highly, highly recommend this. Next up, these only recently came back in stock. They did post about it in their Instagram. So this is the reclaimed wood pedestal. So what's great about reclaimed wood is it's going to be very, very unique. Every piece is going to be a little bit different could be very different depending on the piece itself, but there's always going to be that texture. You can see some of the little knots in here. The footing is a little bit, I mean, it's, they've evened it out, so don't worry, it's not going to wobble, but you can see kind of how just unique and just alive it was. These imperfections, 
I think are just so beautiful. So a piece like this is just going to bring a lot of warmth, a lot of dimension, and especially since a lot of things from my style are going to be a little bit more sleek and clean lined for some of the larger pieces, bringing in that character in some of these smaller decor pieces is really going to be helpful. Nice size. I like it. We'll see how it goes. The last two pieces I got from them from this order are both marble. So these are their marble links. I'll unpackage them in just a second, but they're packed very, very well. So they're not going to knock onto each other, but they are very, very beautiful. Give me one second. All right, so still have the little string guy on here right now, but these are a great size. They are pretty heavy. Um, let's see, how much were these? These were 48 for these three huge marble links. Again, it is real marble and something like this. Be pretty easy to display just on top of a set of books, on top of a coffee table, anything like that. And you kind of get the idea. And then last up is the marble waterfall tray. This thing is heavy. So this one is larger than that reclaimed wood, a little bit wider as well nice weight to it um, this is not overly shiny which i really like most things are going towards that kind of matte finish anywhere from decor to even flooring if you'll notice that a lot of the hardwood floors that are going in have a matte finish as opposed to that high sheen that has been dominant for so long it's so beautiful i'm very happy that we're moving away from that high gloss but again a little bit of that matte finish Ugh, i'm getting really tired it's incredibly well made this can go pretty much anywhere. And just bring a little bit more style to whatever it is that you're decorating. So this was 45. So all the marble is of course going to be a little bit pricier, but well worth the price in my opinion. So these next pieces are from a previous order a couple weeks ago from Modern Wear Market and they are just so gorgeous. I absolutely had to share. So this first one is one of their wood pedestals. So this is a little bit different from that reclaimed wood. They do make them in that reclaimed wood if you are interested in that. But this is that lighter tone. It's got the little cute stubby legs. This is their medium, I believe. I need to double check that medium. So they have a small, medium, and a large size. And this was $16. I'll leave a link to, again, everything below. But right now I just have a little plant sitting on top of it in my bedroom. And it's just, it's so cute. I'm absolutely in love with this. The other two pieces. So if you did watch the fall haul video, you'll know that I said that brass is not really in my decor style and these two pieces might actually have changed my mind on that a little bit. So these are the salt and pepper mills from Modern Wear. So this, I'll show you this one first. This is a little bit smaller one. This is the pepper mill. It just has the most gorgeous detailing. Um, Atlas pepper mill imports made in Greece, but it's adorable and it is really functional. I mean, I actually have pepper in here right now, so I'm trying not to shake it too much, but you just untwist the top. You can fill the whole thing with your peppercorns or salt for the salt mill. And it does come out pretty fine. And I have been absolutely enjoying these. It makes <laughs> seasoning things pretty fun. And it just makes me feel a little bit fancy, which is always just a, a nice touch to something that is so everyday that everybody uses. Absolutely love these. Now this is the eight inch pepper mill. They do a couple of different sizes. Um, it's, it's pretty large, but this one is 86. It's definitely an investment piece. They make some of them that are smaller and they actually just came out with a really cute, smaller, um, I think it's a matte black pepper mill. I'll show that to you up here as well in case the brass is not really your style. And then this is the nine inch salt mill. So it doesn't have the little nubs on the bottom that the pepper mill did, but same thing. It is actually, I use this pretty much every day. It is gorgeous. It is functional. And this one was 90. Again, this is the nine inch one. So if it's just a little large, a little bit pricey, they have those smaller ones as well. They can help you save a couple of dollars. So those salt and pepper mills that are in brass paired with this marble and wood mortar and pestle set, I think is going to be so, so gorgeous. It can bring in that kind of mix of different sheens, different colors it's going to add a lot of dimension. I also had one piece from West Elm that I purchased recently that I wanted to share. So if you are like me and you absolutely love candles, you have those scents that you cannot get enough of. So this was one I got recently, Apple and Evergreen. It has a very nice light, fresh scent. I was absolutely in love with this. 
And then my personal favorite is Lemon Lavender from Yankee Candle. It's just like, it's just beautiful. Absolutely cannot recommend this enough. But dark red, this really light lavender color, these just going out on display, it's not something that I really enjoy. Now this has a little bit more of that minimal kind of sticker on it, so it's not terrible there. But again, that purple is not really me. And then this one has a large sticker. So I've been looking for a candle holder, a hurricane holder, something to put them in that will hide the color, but still allow for the light to come through and still be very beautiful. So again, I think the salt and pepper mills kind of led me to uh, accept brass a little bit more, still in small quantities. It's definitely not a color that I'll gravitate towards for large pieces. You know how I feel about matte black. That's a little bit more my style right there. But I did find this from West Elm. It was on sale too, so that's kind of how I justified purchasing it. But it is this candle holder. They have a couple different sizes. I think this was the medium. I'll list them all. I'll list them all over here as well. They also come in black. I really liked the white here, but I am I'm about to go buy all of them in black too. It does have that kind of gold brass detailing here, which I don't mind again in this kind of small amount. But with this, I can have, let's see if I can open this. I can have my lemon lavender that I am so in love with. It fits really nicely in the bottom of this. And then I can burn it here. It still lets off that glow, but you can't really see the coloring, the stickers, any of that through. And then you just have this really gorgeous piece to put out on display. So this is something I highly recommend. Doesn't need to be this one from West Elm, but I was having a really hard time finding something that I liked enough and this one just hit the mark. Now some of the candles, so the, the Apple Evergreen one does need a little bit of playing around and it is a little bit taller here. It's not bad though. I think that if it's a little bit lower, you can see it a little bit more, but you just have to play around with it a little bit before you light to make sure that it is sturdy and steady and then you're good to go. Look at that, so cute. I pretty much always have a candle burning. It's just something that I love to have that scent just going through the house and it's one of the first things I do in the morning, light it first thing and have that scent all day long. It is so nice. All right, this last piece I am so excited about. It's gonna take me a second. I have it down here to unbox. It's gonna be a little bit heavy and I am not sure how I'm going to do this. It's a little bit larger. Cross your fingers for me. All right, I'm out of breath from getting the box out of the bigger box. I'm just going to show it to you from here real quick before I start taking it out because I'm not sure if I can make it sit all pretty while I'm holding it up. So it's just been speaking to me and I'm probably not gonna be able to use it here. I'll go into that in just a little bit, but I had to. I'm so excited. So quick note, I'm not sure again if I can use it while we're here. We thought we were gonna be here for about five or six months. So we packed up pretty much everything and I only took out some of the essentials to actually put in the kitchen. I have literally three drinking glasses, like one wine glass. I don't think I brought any baking materials and turns out jokes on me, we'll be here for over a year. So I guess I should plan better next time. All right, so that was a little bit of a struggle getting it out of the packaging. I made it a little bit more difficult than it needed to be, but once I figured it out, we're finally good to go. The base is very, very heavy. If I lift it up, I will probably break it because that's just kind of how my luck goes. So here's the bowl. I'll just show you that real quick. Matte black, shocking that I was so drawn to it. It's got this really gorgeous detailing to it. I'll show you what the full thing does look like once it's all put together. Put some pictures up here for you as well. I am so excited. If you do have any recipes that are a must have, please let me know, leave me comments below. I am so, so excited to use this. 
So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed, maybe saw something that you're interested in yourself. All of today's items will be linked below. Go ahead, check them out yourself. If you did find this helpful, go ahead, like this video, comment, subscribe, and again, hit that notification bell. Can't wait to see you in the next one. Until next time, bye.